Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. Today is a really cool video because we are comparing a pair of vintage Bausch & Lomb Ray-Ban Wayfarers against a brand new pair of Luxottica owned Ray-Ban Wayfarer sunglasses. So we have both pairs right here, the vintage pair is over here to my right, and then we have the Luxottica pair over here to my left that was made in 2022. Now, as far as the dimensions go, both these sunglasses have the exact same 55 millimeter lens size in a 22 millimeter bridge and they're the exact same model number and everything the vintage pair i believe was from the 1970s maybe about 1975 and then again like i said the brand new pair was made in 2022 so first off let's go ahead and pop on the vintage pair of ray-ban wayfair sunglasses and here instantly when i put these sunglasses on you can see why they're absolute classic classic sunglasses and one of the most iconic styles ever when it comes to eyewear. These sunglasses in 2022 still look really, really good. Now this pair of vintage Wayfair sunglasses is in almost perfect condition even though they're about 40 or 50 years old. The frames are still nice and shiny and the lenses are still almost perfectly crystal clear. They're just a few little scrapes where they have been worn by the previous owner probably just a handful of times. I personally own a couple different pairs of vintage Wayfair sunglasses, but I've been waiting to make this video until I could find a pair that was in almost perfect condition like this pair. Now, I'm sure you guys have probably noticed the biggest difference between these frames or one of the biggest differences, and that is this vintage pair does not have a painted on Ray-Ban logo in the top right corner of the frames. And because they don't have that logo, I think they look a lot more classy and nice. They just look really, really sleek and of course more vintage and in my opinion, a little bit cooler because they don't have that logo. Now, I actually made a video showing you how you can easily remove that logo and I'm going to link that in the comment section down below if you are interested in how to remove that logo on a brand new pair. Another really big difference is the raised Ray-Ban logos here on the outside temples of the frames. So here on the vintage BL Wayfair we can see it just has a nice little metal accent which looks really classy on the outside of both the left and the right hand side of the frames where here on the new Luxottica ones again we have more Ray-Ban branding and we have have a Ray-Ban logo on both the left and the right hand side, which is definitely a little bit disappointing. And again, really kind of takes away from the absolutely beautiful styling of these frames, in my opinion. Now, towards the end of Bausch & Lomb's ownership of Ray-Ban, they actually did start to put the painted on Ray-Ban logo in the top right corner of the lens. All the Ray-Bans with the painted on Ray-Ban logo, I believe were made in the 1990s before they were sold to Luxottica in 1999. So you definitely still can get a pair of vintage BL Ray-Bans with the painted on logo, but those are not quite as common and definitely not nearly as old as the pair that I'm wearing in today's video. Now both these two sunglasses have all acetate frames which feel really really nice and again obviously they hold up very well over time and they both have very nice all glass lenses and the clarity of these is very very good and as seen with this vintage pair glass lenses hold up really really good over time because they offer very good scratch resistance. Now the BL Wayfarers were actually made in the USA and they say here in the inner right temple of the frames they say a BL Ray-Ban USA. Now, of course, this brand new pair of Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses are made in Italy and they say a Wayfair handmade in Italy. And the original Ray-Ban Wayfairs, I believe is the only handmade frame that Ray-Ban still does produce, which is definitely really interesting. Now, back in the mid 1980s, BL Ray-Ban actually started to put a little BL logo etched in both the left and the right hand lens about right there where I just pointed. This particular pair that I'm wearing, again, is from the 1970s, so it does not have those little BL etchings on the lens, which is definitely really cool. Now the Luxottica Wayfair does also have a little etching on the lens, and we can see this little etching says RV, for Ray-Ban instead of the BL. And the etching is only found on the outside left lens, not on the right as well. Now, as far as weight goes, even though the dimensions are basically identical with these two sunglasses, the original Ray-Ban Wayfair actually weighs 49 grams and the new one by Luxottica actually weighs 45 grams. So the new one is actually a little bit lighter than the vintage pair, which is definitely pretty interesting to know. 
Now both these frames have the exact same all metal accent. They are basically almost identical. It's really cool that Luxottica kept the really nice seven barrel hinge uh, from the original sunglasses. However, if you take a look at the close-ups here, we can see that the BL Ray-Ban Wayfarers actually have a little bit beefier hinges than the new Luxottica ones, which is definitely pretty interesting to note. Now on the inside left temple of these vintage sunglasses, we can see they are etched Wayfair. And then on the inside left temple of the the modern ones we can see actually is painted on and not etched and we can see it says the lens size and has some more information on there as well. Now if the Bosch and Lomb pair we can actually see the lens size by taking a look at the inside of the top right of the frame and we can see it says BL5024. Now for those of you with a good eye you probably saw that it said 24 in the top right corner for the bridge size and I told you at the beginning of the video that these frames are the exact same size and they actually are it's just BL actually measured the bridge width different than Luxottica does but the actual dimensions here are the exact same so let me go ahead and pop on the uh, new Luxottica Wayfair so you give you guys a good idea of how these look on face and then if I pop on uh, this vintage pair again we can see the bridge isn't bigger or anything like that whatsoever it's just the two different owners of Ray-Ban measured the bridge differently now as far as the sunglass cases go the pair here to the left is the new Luxottica case Case, which looks really nice and then the case here is the vintage BL case and here on the vintage BL case we can see it says Bausch and Lomb Ray-Ban and it says Wayfair on there right now in this case of course only shipped with Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses which is really cool where on this Luxottica case it says 100% UV protection Ray-Ban sunglasses by Luxottica and unfortunately it doesn't say Ray-Ban Wayfair or anything like that whatsoever this is the exact same case that you get with basically every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses glasses so it was really cool that back in the day they actually say Wayfair on the actual case. Now unfortunately these cases tend to dry rot and this one even though it looks really nice actually is dry rotted the material on the inside just completely falls apart so I would definitely not recommend storing the frames in these original cases they're just going to completely fall apart on you and that's basically the case with every single one of these little leather uh, slip cases well that's about it for this comparison I'm going to pop on the vintage uh, Bausch and Lom Ray-Ban Wayfarers one more time and give you guys a quick little 180 of what these frames look like on face and then I'm going to go ahead and pop on the Luxottica ones that were made in 2022. So here are the Luxottica ones with their painted on Ray-Ban logo and the raised Ray-Ban logo as well. So which pair do I like better? Well of course I absolutely love this vintage pair of sunglasses a lot better than this brand new pair of sunglasses. Unfortunately finding a perfect condition pair of Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses is going to cost you well over $300 and you can get a brand new pair of Luxottica owned Wayfair sunglasses for about $160 directly from their website and in basically any store where it's very hard to find a good pair of vintage Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. So let me know what you guys think about these sunglasses in the comment section down below. Which pair do you prefer? And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.